Hi, I'm Linda Christine, and I'm here in my studio today where I create Soul Dragon readings and artwork. And I wanted to share with you a little bit today about how this came to be. Back in February, I went to a full moon fire breathwork ceremony. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> and during the ceremony, as I was doing breath work, my body was compelled to move closer and closer to the fire. And my breathing got more intense, way more intense. I felt like I was going into labor. My lower chakras were just like on fire. And as I got closer to the fire, all of a sudden I energetically gave birth to these beautiful chakra colored dragons. That's the only way I know how to describe them. It was the red, the yellow, the green, the blue, the lavender, the purple. They were amazing and I emotionally lost it. Just like a mother giving birth, I was having tears of joy as I was finally seeing my baby dragons again. Now this was February, like I said, and I went back and I'm like, what do I make of this? I am not a person who ever studied dragons, know anything about dragons. They never even entered my field whatsoever. It just wasn't something I felt attracted to. And then that happened. <laughs> and then that really shifted for me. So um, I sat with that for a number of months. I tried to learn a little bit about dragons, try to feel into it, try to ask some people that were knowledgeable in dragons what perhaps was going on. So time passes, and I believe there was something activated in me at this point, um, my podcast, Conversation for the Soul. Um, I was talking with Dr. Joe Delaney one day, and he went into this dragon voice and brought through this forceful dragon voice. And I just remember every cell in my body shaking, and I'm like, Wow, that was incredibly powerful. Didn't think anything of it. Went along with my, my time. And then I was just relaxing one night, and I heard this, you will create dragon art. And I'm like, uh, really? My art is photography. I'm not sure that I can do the art art thing again. Uh, I dabbled in it in high school, and that was about it. Okay, maybe a little bit later on in life, but nothing nothing like what this is, which is so amazing to me. And I'm sharing this all with you because I truly believe it's been divinely led. Being that it wasn't anything in my field, it comes into my field, and now here it is, and it is just happening at a rapid pace with such grace and ease. I'm really amazed. I am really amazed. So I know I am some sort of divine conduit for these, these beings, these dragon beings. Um, so I went, bought a bunch of art materials, and I'm like, okay, let's see how this is going to work. And then around that time, that same time, I was drawn to this thing called acrylic pore painting. And I'm like, that's how they're going to come through. Because I couldn't draw you a dragon to save my life. Not from my imagination. Um, I could copy one probably pretty well. But as far as painting it, not so much. Um, and that's nothing, you know, I'm not discounting myself in any way. That's just my knowing. That's how it would be. So when I saw the acrylic core painting, I'm like, this is how they can energetically flow through. I can allow and invite them in. I can connect with your dragon. I can then pull forth a reading when I am out in nature. And then from that reading, I kind of get the colors that I need to use for your dragon, the message your dragon wants. Um, underneath 
Each canvas painting is an intention that is set. The one you'll see today is for love. And I write that in pencil on there, so it's an underlying energetic intention. Um, I ask for your dragon to come through before I create the art. I mix the colors. It's all intuitive. I'm just like grabbing stuff, going with the reading, pouring it on the canvas in the shape that it feels like it wants to come through. The one today really wanted a heart shape in it um, because the underlying intention and message was sacred love. So it's just beautiful the way it happens. So I'll share with you a little bit of my studio here. This is where I do the creation. So this is where I do my podcasts. Underneath here is my desk. <laughs> and I was going to get furniture for my office, but now it's a studio. So I'm going to keep it open, which is why it sounds so echoey in here. But I just put a piece of cardboard over my computer desk where I do my photography work and do my podcasts. And now I do the dragon art. This is the one I created today that I'll be walking you through. This is the dragon's head, the body, the heart shape. Um, it's all just very fluid the way it comes through. I have some other dragon paintings that I've done for other people that I need to get mailed out this week. We've already done those um, Zoom calls where I walk you through the message that came through. We do a dragon meditation. Um, I answer any questions to the best of my abilities. Yeah. So that's how it works. I will go ahead and um, share with you now how I create the actual dragon artwork and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you are interested in receiving a Soul Dragon reading, please let me know that as well. I would be more than happy to do it. I'm going to offer a reduced um, offering right now since I'm very new to this and I'm still working through how the messages want to be um, received and then brought forward for you. So I will post that information below as well. Thank you for listening. And here we go with creating a piece of dragon art. Okay, some of the colors whoop, that have come through, I do not have in my pre-made set. So I'm gonna have to mix up some with some gel medium. I probably should have used a bigger, bigger cup so I could stir it better, but you get the drift. Okay, so I always like to set an intention. I really breathe into the project pull forth the dragon energy. This one is a sacred love dragon. So love is the intention I write on the canvas before I pull through the image. Now I got a little bit of white on here because I filled up my bottle and I overfilled didn't want to waste it, so I poured it on here to begin with. So now I'm going to call forth the dragon. I'm going to open some of these colors over here that I think I might want to pour on. I may or may not use them all. I also have my mixed ones that I showed you earlier. Um, I have one I have to undo here. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling a very strong heart shape coming through. I honor whatever is going on for me um, from an energetic standpoint. So first I'm going to look at my negative space here where I'm going to want paint to run off. 
I really just honestly follow the guidance of whatever the dragon is bringing forth for me or dragons because sometimes I've had multiple dragons and sometimes dragons have come forth in the image along with the original one. So I'm gonna put a little more white on here so we can get a better flow. Okay, so she is calling forth here. Like this is what I'm feeling. It's the energetic signature she wants to bring forth. Um, this dragon also called for gold. So I'm going to put a little bit of gold in here. Not a lot. And really, again, it's just a lot of energetic feeling into what's happening here. Um, the iridescent white is a big part of this dragon's signature. So that's coming forth too. And I'm going to add some other colors here. I feel like she's really, her face is coming forward here, her body here. Um, let me throw a little bit more of this neon color in here. And now we'll just kind of see where this goes. Um, sometimes I use a hair dryer here. So I think I might do that a little bit right now. So I forgot to hit the record button on that. But I basically just took, whoops, my hair dryer and blew it through here. And now I'm going to take a straw and I'm going to blow I like the paint to drip over the edges. Has that a kind of endless pool feeling to it. I'll put a little bit more white over here. Let's see where this goes. I really like how this is starting to look. Now, see here, this is what the dragon head that's coming through and the body that wraps around. So now I'm gonna take some tools and I'm going to, first I'm closing my paints here so they don't dry out. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm just feeling like it needs some darker, darker golds in here to blow out. Maybe you can kind of start to see a dragon face even more. Now I'm doing all of this through just wherever my guidance is led. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. She looks so powerful, but I want her face a little bit more divine, de de huh, defined. I can see it in here. So I'm just going to drag the paint through, drag it through. Let's see and see. I see what I'm seeing in here. Now this this is what I love about this. 
I'm not really creating this. I am, but I'm not. That makes sense. It's all intuitive for me. Um, I feel very much a swirling energy. I want that to kind of drape over the side there. Blow it out a little bit, see if I can bring back some of those beautiful cells in there. I feel like she's got a very flowy tail to her. So much flow in her. All right. Now, I like how that's kind of dripping in there too. That looks neat. Take some drips in there. I want that heart. I feel that heart energy really flowing in this dragon. So we're gonna swirl out a heart here. That's going to define her, her, her true love essence. Now I have some spots here where my flow wasn't so great. I am not an artist. Yes, I've done art in my life. I'm a photographer. I consider that my art. But as far as this goes, I've only dabbled with it. Um, acrylic paints. I have never done this before. And here is the dragon. I'm going to lift this up so you get a better view of it. Hopefully it stays on the tripod and not land in the paint. So we have what I see a dragon head coming through here. I helped pull that out for her. The flowiness of it, the tail shooting out, and the subtle heart in the middle. I don't want to mess with this anymore. This feels like she's ready to go. I mean, not really. I am called to put some gold flake in here because there's a real strong gold essence. Maybe even some silver is coming through too. So this is it. This is how I read the soul dragon. This is how it comes through. Um, gosh, I just feel like it's a very fluid process and, and the liquidiness of the paint really allows for that dragon energy to put its signature on the canvas. And I'm just the conduit that pulls it through. Okay, so this is what she looks like. Um, wet. I'm contemplating whether I want to add the gold flake now while it's still wet. Okay, so I'm being guided to do the gold flake now while it's still wet so it kind of gets embedded in the paint. Um, have not done this before so this will be interesting. I'm gonna see if I can like get it all kind of broken up here and then just sprinkle flakes in with my brush. Not sure how that's going to work, but we shall see. I should be using my plastic colored hand for this since I don't want it stuck in my skin. She really is, oh gosh, a gorgeous dragon. Okay, I want this to go a little quicker. So yeah, this seems to work real well. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Let's see, break it down in the cap here, and then kind of just sprinkle it all on top. Okay. 
just a little bit more. I don't feel like she needs that much more. It really, I feel kind of pulls through her energetic qualities of sacred love and um, everything that goes with the reading on this dragon as well, which I will share below the video so you all can get a feel for how this works. Um, so what happens first is I pull in the reading from the dragon and then that kind of gives me direction for the artwork. Just making sure these are embedded in here. I like the randomness of how they land. I think that looks really good. So let's have you take a peek here. It's not a lot, but it's just, I don't know. This is what she wants, so this is what she gets.